were looking at graphing. We were looking at slope intercept form. We talked about slope, so we had y equals mx plus b, where m was the slope and b was your y-intercept. Today we're going to continue that idea, but we're going to continue it with shading. So we're going to graph our lines, and then we're going to shade above or below them. So what we're going to do is still look at our slope. So we're going to determine if things are true or false. So let's look at number one. So we're going to write an equation for y grid equals mx plus b. And then instead of an equal sign, you're now going to do a greater than, a less than, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to. If it is a greater than or a less than, your line is dashed. If it is a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to, your line will be solid. So again, in this bl in that blank space on the right side of your screen, I want you to put all that info down. Like you are writing down what I'm writing down in that blank space to the right. If it is greater than, then you're shading above. If it is less than or equal to, you shade below. So are we flip flop? I make sense why they're confused when I'm yeah, saying that. Exactly. Okay, so we're on 5 dash 6, guys. Your handout should look like this. Like, give me two seconds. Okay, your handout should look like this, the one I'm referencing. So at the bottom of the page should be the number 37. If you don't have that, please raise your hand. We can all have them both times. All right, well, we're starting, sorry, guys, we're starting on page 37. So the information I just gave to you, I want you to put in this blank space over here. Okay? So that information I just gave to you, I want in that blank space over there. I'll give everybody a second to copy that down. All right, is everybody all good now? We're getting caught up. We're all on the right page, in the right spot. Okay, what's up? Yeah. They're in my car, so you don't even need me. You can literally just take it. Corey's or Connor's, I don't care. You're welcome. Bye. So let's go back to our other handout and let's talk about these problems. So what we want to do for each of these is to write an expression that will make that true or meet its requirements. So here's example number one. You have a graph. So the first thing I like to ask is, is the line solid or dashed? Abby, it's solid. So a solid line means that my inequality symbol is going to have the equal sign as part of its answer. 
Okay, what is the y-intercept? Remember, the y-intercept is the point where it hits the y-axis. So what's my y-intercept? Okay, good, Abby. Perfect. So my y-intercept is positive 1. What's my slope? How many am I going up and over from that point? How many are we going up and over? Good, so it's one up and two over. So that means it's one half x plus one represents the equation of the line. Are we shaded above or below? We're below. So that means the y values are less than. So in terms of my equation, the y values are less than, and Abby told me they're equal to. So the y values are less than or equal to the slope of the line, which is 1 half x plus the y-intercept, which is 1. Thumbs up, thumbs down, maybe in the middle. We're in the middle. We're getting there, but like, need a little more effort. Yeah. Yes. So it's up one. It goes up one and over two. It's a lot harder to learn this when you're playing with your phone instead of doing your. Snapchat will wait. Sure. Yeah. Nope, you leave it as is. So for this one, we'll start with the Y, right? So let's start with Y. Is the shading above or below? Go ahead, Nevaeh. Good. So is it going to be greater than or less than? So y is greater than. Is the line solid or dashed? So do I have an equal to? No, because it's dashed. Okay. What is my y-intercept, Abby? Perfect. So that's the value that goes at the end. It's positive. And then what goes in front of the x is the slope. So you got to go to the points to either the left or the right. So what's happening with my slope? How many am I going up and over? Perfect. So y is greater than 1x plus 4. Better? All right, let's start with 3. Is it shaded above or below, Zoe? Okay, so is that a greater than or a less than? Is it solid or dashed? What? Good. So that means no equals to. Okay, what is my y-intercept? It is negative 3. And then what's my slope? Abby? Yeah, up three over one. So it's y greater than three x minus three. Y greater than three x minus three.
three. Perfect. All right. Somebody I have not heard from today. Dominique, above or below? Sorry, I can't hear. What? Above. So you think the shading is above? So above means that it's on, like, so above would be up here, which means it's actually below. So above is like the sky, above the line, below the line. So in this case, we're below that line. So that means Y is less than. Is the line solid or dashed, Luke? Okay, so that means this also gets an equal to. Madison, what's my y-intercept? Good. Okay, what is my slope, Navea? Good. So again, all of your equations are in y equals mx plus b form. And then you're just putting an inequality symbol. And it's got to be one of the four choices I gave you. And it depends on the questions I ask. Okay, so let's work our way through the room. Landon, solid or dashed? Okay, Madison, above or below? Okay, so what inequality goes with dashed and below, Nevea? Is my alligator opening to or away from the Y symbol? So is it going to be, we'll go with A, B, C, or D? No. Alright, let's go with this, Nevaeh. Eliminate two. If, since the line is dashed, what two cannot, can it not be? Perfect. All right. So now we'll give you, Zoe, a 50-50 shot. So Nevaeh helped you. She eliminated two. Is it going to be A or D? All right. It's D. Why is it D? Because it is less than. The Y values are below this line. Therefore, they're smaller or less than. Okay, Luke, what's my y-intercept? Okay, Sierra, what's my slope? How many do I go up and over from point to point? What's the whole point? I'm picking on you randomly. So Sierra, how many am I going up? Count. Here's a point. How many do I have to go up to get to this point? So, you can do this. How many lines am I drawing when I go up? How many blocks am I going up? I'm going up one. And then how many do I bounce to the right? 
Good, so that's my slope. Y is less than 1 half X minus 2. Dominique, is my line solid or dashed? Very good. Okay, Nick, is it shaded above or below? Okay, so it's below and solid. So, Abby, am I picking A, B, C, or D for my inequality symbol? Okay, it is actually C. I love that you have the equal to, but it's below, so it's less than. Okay, Jensen, what is my y-intercept? Very good. Okay, Colton, what is my slope? Okay, I love the two, but what do we need to go with that two? Okay, so we have a two X. Logan, is my line going up or down? From left to right, is the line going up or down? The wrong line. It's okay, so is it going up or down then? Down. Yeah, so what's my slope need to have in front of it? Um, a negative. All right. So you guys are going to try some practice on your own. So you're going to look at the skills. So do they have the skills practice handout now? Yeah, uh, I didn't get one back on the next one. All right. So on the skills practice handout, you are doing 11, 12, and 13. 